Hi, what's up guys? This is Aquamarine. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this video I will do uh, another introductory playthrough for a game. This is an old game that released many years ago and... But it's really a really good game even for even for this year still is I think it's, it's still a great game so I want to you know introduce to you this game in case if you might get interested well this game uh, was created by Tim Schaeffer he is the developer that being well known for many classic point-click adventure games like The Secret of Monkey Island, um, Day of the Tentacle, and Grim Fandango. Well, and this game is um, it's kind of action adventure game, not point, not classic point-click video games. And the time of it being released. Uh, the reception is not is not good at all and the sale is not high because um, they didn't promote this game a lot and during the same time it was I'm not sure maybe it was released during the same time as uh, some big games that you know, drain a lot of attention and Psychonaut is uh, being drowned in that. Well, let us get start. Um, start a new game. Okay. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend! I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. 
What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! Ugh. My name... Starts with a D. ...is Rasputin. But everybody calls me... Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect? Is Raz the Psychonaut? And 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 then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Well, this is how you select yourself a lot. You have to um, select a bunk. Actually, I have um, <laughs> two pro five already because I have played this game so many times. Uh, I think I have played from start to finish about um, maybe five times already. You can type your name in here. Oh crap. That was too long. <laughs> okay. Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! 
I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. It's kind of tutorial on how you, you know, looking around. You can press escape button to pull up your journal. Okay. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic training. Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I heard this one time a kid was late for basic braining, and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned blue. But the kid had just drank a six pack of soda, and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. Okay, um. There's, uh, there is a tutorial for each page in your journal. As you can see, I think I will have to um, increase my mouse sensitivity. It's uh, oh crap! Do I have to adjust this? No. Nope. Okay, that's better. Um, this game have, uh, you know, s so many hilarious jokes that <laughs> will make you laugh. And yeah, if you if you collect this sidecar and uh, enough, and you buy a sidecar from a store, you can make a mar challenge marker and up your rank. You can see. Um, your rank up in the right corner. You can pull this. It's, uh, it's an arrow here that has a uh, yeah made of titanium, psycho reactive, whatever is that. Uh, it's a uh, currency in this game. It's money. You can looking around and throw it up from the ground. When you uh, up your rank in this game, about every every ten ranks, you will get new power or or an upgrade to your existing power, something like that. And there are so many secrets in this game. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I could never kill everyone. Oh, I was squirrel trouble. They're liars at all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there as soon as I get these guys to shut up. Shut up! Well, it seems that. Dogen uh, can hear other people mind. I wouldn't!
and it seemed that he used his sidekick to kill them. <laughs> We can explore a lot. Oh, and Sin, the the character player, he uh, rest. He is from a circus, so he have some kind of you know <laughs> some kind of acrobatic skill like this. And as you can see, he can double jump. Uh, that bubble is a uh, projection from his mind. He is psychic after all. As I told you, there are so many secrets. If you go down there, you will find an, a certain item that you cannot get at this time. I'm not just. I'm not gonna spoil that. Almost anything, uh, except the tree. Though. Maybe it's too big for his hand. And this is a female, female's house, or maybe you can call it a. Oh crap! You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh! I'm practicing for tonight when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies. So I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait a Bobby. I know that's you. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever right have. now we cannot go out of this uh, area. Uh, I have to pass the first level of the game for before I can go out there. After class of course, as you can see. I'm in Polarisma, Australia. You're in. You can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. He's a... he's a Kyle bully. Now everyone is uh, in some kind of a trance because they project their minds into, well, Coach Oleander's mind here. I will enter that later in the next video. I will end this one here. 
if you enjoy watching this please give it a like or you can subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future thanks for watching bye